What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slap Train, and welcome back, guys, to some... I was about to say Need for Speed. Welcome back, guys, to some Forza Motorsport, and today, guys, um, we had a new update drop. Now, it's a little bit weird because I'm doing this on March 28th, which is a Friday. So, DLC usually does not drop until Tuesdays. That's the way it's been now for, you know, years. Um, you know, ever since Forza 3, Forza 4, and now Forza 5. So this month is a little bit different. They've dropped it a couple days before, almost a week before it was actually due. And we have a total of 10 new cars, and we also have a buttload of free cars. So if you go into the buy car section, you have a bunch of cars now that say free. And these are, you know, anything from, you know, the Acura RSXs all the way up to, you know, the Love Ferraris again. So we have another Love Ferrari. You know, we have, you know, the the massive North American R8. Um, we got a bunch of cars that are for free. I've already picked up a lot of them. There was the Bugatti that was for free. So that's pretty cool that they gave us all that stuff for free. Now, also, too, you're going to see a couple different cars. We had the Caterham for free. And, uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of brand new cars that came in. Now, I'm a little bit kind of wondering what's going on they haven't really announced anything particularly talking about why they've done this but we're just going to go over the cars quickly here so we have the 1999 lotus salon series one sport 190 great looking car and all these cars are viewable in forza vista where you can pop the hood and trunk of pretty much every single car in the game Next one up is the 2013 Audi RS4 Advent, and this car actually looks like a dream to slide. A couple of my buddies, including Destroyers, he's already done a bunch of these builds on his channel, so if you guys want to go and check out his channel, go and have a look, and you're going to see a buttload of builds on his channel of all these cars. But this is the oh, oh sorry, the 2013 RS4 Advent. Lovely car. I cannot wait to get my hands on that to slide it. Up next here, we're going to try and find what we get here quickly. So we have the... Chaparral, if that's how you pronounce that, I'm sorry, number 66, Cars 2E, and this is a 1966 model, so this is, I don't even know what to call this thing, uh, if, if you guys can kind of give me an explanation of why this wing is so damn high, and I appreciate it in the comments below, uh, but yeah, so that's another car, I'm pretty excited to drive it, something different, I can tell you that right now, 475 horsepower to 1600 pounds, um, with a 5.4 liter engine, and so it's quite a bit in there, um, and I think that thing will uh, get down and we're going to try and maybe slide that thing a little bit later as well too. Now, up next, what else do we have right here? We have, oh, the Transit Van, gentlemen. I mean, the Transit Van has came back and this thing, you can actually open up the sliding doors on this thing. It's rocking 198 horsepower on this here, but... The cool thing about this van is that now we can actually paint the rims on this van. So that's going to be kind of new, something different. That should be a lot of fun to drive and, you know, slide around. Maybe work some tandems into that because you can also probably swap a V8 into there if I'm not mistaken. So that should be a lot of fun. Up next in the uh, list of cars that we got, we had the number 10 Holden Xbox Racing Team Commodore. And that is a 2013 model. Same as, I believe, the other actual Holden that's here. Same stats exactly, just a nice little paint job on there. Personally, I love this paint. I love the green on it, so I'm not going to be changing this up at all because I love this thing. And this is actually my first Holden racing car because they did give this to us for free. They gave us every car in this pack for free. So um, you didn't have to pay for any of it, which was really nice. It's something different. Nice change of pace. Up next is a 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha. Oh my god, y'all. We're going to be able to rear wheel drive swap this thing, and you can also throw in a V8 into this. But it's also 8,100 pounds, so I'm feeling a lot of cameras going to be coming out of here, and uh, hopefully we can do a nice little weight replacement on here and, you know, suck some of that fat out of the damn truck, because that thing is huge. But we're going to be doing builds on all these cars a little bit later. We also got in the brand new 2013 Lexus GS350 F Sport. 306 horsepower, just under 4,000 pounds, and that's actually a little bit heavier than the ISF when that thing is actually stock. So it's a little bit of a different car. Um, I'm going to probably be sliding this a lot as well too. It looks like a lot of fun. So we're going to be definitely driving with that car very soon. Up next in the uh, list of cars, if we can find whatever's new here, hopefully. That's my plan. We have the 1998 Nissan R390. Thing is a bullet, man. It even looks like a bullet. That car's going to be a lot of fun for a circuit build. I'm probably not going to drift that thing too much just because of the way that it looks. I'm not a big fan of that car as it stands, but 
We do have the Renault 5 Turbo 1980. This car just looks fantastic. I love the fog lights on this thing. The rims are nice as well too. And it's rocking a little 1.4 liter, 157 horsepower. So that's a pretty nice little build on that thing. That should be a lot of fun to slide if we can. Also too, we have the 2008 Impreza WRX STI four door coupe or sorry four door sedan sorry and uh, this should be a lot of fun as well to slide i'm pretty happy about that car seeing that in there and i believe that is everything if i'm not mistaken i don't want to make sure i missed anything so let me just head over to the form section just to make sure because i think that's everything as well i'm almost i'm almost 100 percent certain on this but yeah i mean they gave us a bunch of cars for free i don't really understand why they did it and you know they haven't really talked to us at all about you know what's going on so i would like you know maybe turn 10 to possibly you know talk about why they're doing the things that they're doing you know take the community out of the dark because that's really what we are right now we're in the dark we have no damn idea what's going down right here we really don't i mean i have no clue what's going on Nobody knows. I tweeted at Turn 10 to see if they'd really kind of message back. They didn't, though, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I really don't know what to say. I think that the car pack was out early. I think someone slipped up, and I think that they maybe hit a switch by accident, and uh, voila, we got all these cars. So I really don't know what to say. I do, I mean, I do like the fact that everything is free, but at the same point in time, apparently... I think this is our last car pack as season pass holders. So I'm a little bit curious on, you know, what's going to happen after we're done this car pack. You know, are we going to have to pay again for more cars? Are we going to have to, you know, pay again for another track? What's going to happen? And I mean, I don't know. I mean, as, as a Forza fan, I feel like this season pass has been uh, a waste of money. I will say that for sure. Um, I mean, a lot of the cars that we wanted, we didn't even get. You know, the S chassis we never got. Everybody wants the S13. Everybody wants the S14. And yet, they still don't put them in. Everybody wants the SC300. We want these cars in the game, but yet they're pretty much ignoring what we want as fans. So, hopefully, they do change things around. I was reading on their actual uh, Twitter that they were talking about, you know, a lot of more content coming to keep the fans happy. So we'll have to really wait and see what they're going to be doing. But I would love an explanation of really what is going on. What happened? Is it a slip up? Did they mess up? Because really it's Friday. It's not Tuesday. So something had to have happened. There's a reason why they put this out early or they just accidentally did it and you know, they screwed up. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, I mean, I would I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. What happened? What do you guys think? There's no way that we're only getting 562 horsepower out of this damn thing. Hold up here. How much is Cam's bringing us in this thing? Uh, maybe it is, actually. But, yeah, so, I mean, I'd love to see what your guys' thoughts are. Should I do some builds on some of these cars? What cars do you guys want to see done? And uh, we'll maybe be getting some live comm sessions with these cars fully done up. But, so... Other than that, gentlemen, I thank you guys for coming by. It's your latest up-to-date Forza news right now. We didn't get any damn tracks, unfortunately, though. The servers do seem to be down at the moment, although Forza did say that the Forza, or the, that the actual servers should be up and running. So this should be, you know, fixing itself throughout the day. So if you guys are having issues, definitely check back on the Twitter page to see if they have any problems or if they're kind of tweeting out anything. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by once again today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. It's all going to be in the description box below, gentlemen. Other than that, though, it's your boy, Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.